Hello beautiful people, like, share and subscribe. Uh, so, I want to play this audio of Ojiz Okalo telling you how 40 million naira uh, monthly salary is too small for senators uh, to sustain in this economy. Then I will let you know my thoughts at the end of the video. This is our country. Okay, Senator. I am an evil man to a heart. Okay, just to put it in. And I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of anything, anybody. Because for you to tell me I'm supporting President Tidibu because I'm afraid of being tried. It's insulting. He's president of Nigeria. If you don't respect him for anything at all, respect him that he's president of Nigeria. Okay, Senator. He did not buy it in the market. He earned it. Senator, just a follow-up question. You made the point that, look, I mean, you are into businesses. You are, you know, a media mogul, which I know very well, being in the same uh, industry. After all, uh, there was a year you were you know, quoted by, uh, uh, listed by Forbes uh, International as one of the richest uh, Africans and one of the richest Nigerians, which is why Nigerians are surprised that you will grant an interview and you'll be saying that, uh, you know, the 14 million that you earn as a senator, everything, <laughs> including everything, is not enough. That is not enough even for you to, you know, go to your constituency. Nigerians are asking, what is that 14 million spent upon? just to buy fuel, and they say, after all, you have a private jet. Maybe you don't use it again. You fly commercial flight. But even then, 14 million is a lot of money. At a time, Nigerians can't get 70,000 naira minimum wage. No, Ruben, let me tell you. I heard that you people in Arise discussed that. What I told Sheung of another television, I said that 14 million is too little for my colleagues. M mind you, these are people who have made, the, who have made uh, politics their career. These are people who earn no other income. I'm not talking only about myself. I sit with some of my colleagues who need help from me, who need help from other colleagues, who the 14 million cannot even to I use that 14 million. I can show you, uh, Ruben, I want you to take me on three weeks' time. I will provide you an asset banking account where I use that 14 million to pay my staff salary. Out of the 14 million, 9.8 million goes to staff salaries. I will provide it for you. An asset bank will be a witness. I will take an affidavit in the court of competent jurisdiction so you become a legal uh, document so you can take me to court. So let me tell you out of 14 million, I pay 9.8 million to salaries of my staff in the constituency and the, in, in the office in Abuja. And these are money that provided not only for me to put in my pocket, it's not my money, it's the money of office of a senator representing Abianot. Those money. Is if my A's are traveling, they need to pay transport from there to go to Abia to the constituency. If my A's are sick, they need to get that money to treat themselves. If I am sick, I have to get from there to treat myself. We need to repair the cars I will use, the committee cars. We need to repair everything that we need to do. And dressing allowance is there. Uh, any allowance you talk is incompatible. This is what I said, and I don't shy away from it. And to my colleagues who are senators, that is not enough for them. That is the truth. Because I sit in the Senate, I interact with my colleagues who are senators. And they talk to me, they talk to others, we talk among ourselves. If you check 40 million naira, which I get and most other people get, it is nothing to people who work, who are not even elected, who are being given so much money for doing nothing. So the, the, the 14 million makes sense. I pity Nigerian people because, because, of the, uh, because of the solid uh, economic reconstruction we are doing now, we have wiped out the middle class. We have wiped out almost everything, but it will come back. I pity Nigerian people, especially the poor of the poorest. You know me, my foundation, not just a Carlo foundation, is doing a lot 
not only my constituencies, all over. So I, I cry when you and your colleagues celebrated me saying 14 million, and I become a, a rogue and a thief. I am happy you say that Fox acclaimed me as a billionaire, and Fox cannot rate me down because I'm in politics. They were rating me from 2007 to 2019. If I'm out of politics now, and my dear Ruben, I'm the only politician in sub-Sahara Africa, if not indeed Africa, that Forbes have rated as a billionaire. And there's no other politician. No other person in politics they will rate because they know I have verifiable businesses in banking and shipping and all the rest of them and manufacturing. Hello, beautiful people. So you've heard from Ojis Okalo. Um, I think it's very laughable. Um, you know, uh, there's one point he said there. He said paying for the, uh, to for the health of his staffs or something. If Nigeria had a proper system, why should the senator be paying for the health of, or uh, paying for the health care of his workers? There's everybody in Nigeria is supposed to have free medical care. All this money they are moving for subsidy, they are supposed to use it to upgrade primary health care centers, stock it, not just empty container shelves. I'm talking of world class buildings even up to the roofings, water collectors, lawns. I'm talking of a you know pristine environment, even the interlocking is sharp. You understand? Quality. Then it must be stocked with all medicines. You know, medicines. It must be stocked. Stocked. Anybody, any, any of the nurses that steal um, the uh, um, um, uh, medicines will be jailed. One of the problems why Nigeria is bad because there is no consequence for action. People misbehave a lot. And when they misbehave, when you now catch them, they will now say, ah, please, I have family, you know. But that's by the way. You see, this country, Nigeria, we can't go forward. Though. For me, they sh all these senators, they should be collecting one million because I don't see anything they do. Then they should reduce their number of staff. This is what we call uh, 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 wasting. Maybe they have over bloated staff too. Do you understand? And I don't know, Nigeria needs a reconfiguration. If we can't move forward, though, 14 million, how much is the minimum wage? 70,000. Do the plus and minus now. What is the, the, the difference in percentage? You know, and 70,000 can't buy you anything. Are they even paying the 70,000? You know, so these are just the country, just a, a hubaloo. You know, so everybody just comes. If he says the money is too small, then he should leave. You know, he should leave. I think this uh, senator and house of rep work, it should be more of like uh, a work people do more of uh, charity work. They should reduce, they should, I don't know, they should read incentive for these people. For me, the only people that should be even paid well is the ministers. I think for me, if I was to be in power, the ministers would be paid very well. But all these people, everybody should collect one million. The ministers should be paid well because they are supposed to do real work. The minister work is not to be joke. And the president too, maybe she can earn a little. For me, if I'm president, president shouldn't earn more because he's just there to listen and you know direct. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Maybe we should follow Singapore model uh, of paying uh, public workers, but I don't know. This Nigerian work, people are not doing anything. I only to do corruption. What of uh, the five hundred million uh, they give them for constituency projects? Those ones who not even hear anything about it, and all this they are. Chua chua money they get. Mago mago. This country we need a total restructuring. That's why I say let's go regional so that we'll break this thing. You know, and then I don't know. It just in Nigeria is just a group of adults just misbehaving and you know you see young people cheering them. Mado.